Well, good morning and welcome down to Windy Hill Kennel. We are located in central Ohio and we specialize in schnoodles. Uh, so if you're seeing this on YouTube, uh, we will have spring and summer puppies, but right now our waiting lists are pretty full until our summer uh, litters are coming. But um, there will be information on those on the website at the end of January. So this is Maggie's kids. This will be the first time I'm going to put them on the floor to see if they'll play. Vanessa says they're super active when they're playing down there with their mom in her kennel. And I'm so shocked. They were four weeks old already yesterday. They got their first Neopar shot. Oh, I know. Touched your ears. And we haven't really played with these much. We pick them up every day to make sure they're okay. And But as far as they're used to their four-foot cubicle, so, and their mom goes out on a, an area outside to go play through a door. And so this is going to be a whole new ball game for them. Plus, they're going to smell the puppies that have been down here previously before they got here. So, they've never seen toys. So, we're going to see if they, um, I expect them to be a little bit, um, what do I want to say, anxious or scared. Um... This one's like, oh, I think I like this, maybe. You're not scared. No, you're not scared. You're a good baby. I know. Are you good babies? What do you think? This is our, oh, there goes the tail. There goes the tail. There it goes. See, there goes the tail. Yeah. You're going to look at and climb up a little bit. I think our, our scared one this morning is going to be the chocolate or the blue merle. Which I expect somebody to be afraid. I really do at this point. I'd be shocked if they were all up like, oh, this is great. Um, each week they're going to learn different things. Oh, that was a big yawn. They're going to explore and um, they're going to get a bath this week again. And you just want to be, you know, at this point we try and be as calm with them as we can. We want to use a voice that, you know, I don't use the baby voice, but... I want them to be inquisitive. There goes a tail. That's a good sign. What do you think? It's like, I don't know about all this. This is such a new thing. So you're going to see changes every week in their personalities. They're going to become outgoing. They're going to start learning to play with toys. If we put toys in with them at this age, mom will just tear them to shreds and take them outside. So... They, and these have been touched by other puppies. So these guys are, it says, oh, I got a yawn. These guys are going to have to get used to other dog smells because they're really, really in there just solely with mom. They're very quiet. And actually, mom's the only one in the building right now. Prissy's litter has been weaned. And so she's got a whole quiet building, except Vanessa's got country western music playing in there on the radio. So they're listening to that. Uh, they've been wormed twice now. This one's chirping. I don't know if it'll show up on the video or not, but it's it's kind of it sounds like a baby raccoon. So where are you going, huh? Where are you going? I know it's a good babies. So what I'm gonna do this morning? We're gonna give you weights on them. Um, I sense there's. Oh, I turned that off. No, I didn't turn it on. Uh, since they are all different, I'm not even going to microchip them because everybody knows which one you're getting. Since you guys are not too upset with this, I'm going to weigh you first. This is the black and white female. She is two pounds, six ounces. Is it a good baby? She says, yes, I'm a good baby. She's got pretty face, nice bright eyes. I know it. You're a good girl, aren't you? Are you a good girl? They're all chirping now. I like their coats. Their coats are just starting to get some waves in them. I know, I hear you. I hear you too, and your tail's going, even though you're not sure you want to wag it. No, we're going to pet you. And um, this shaking that she's doing, she's not cold. This is just nerves. So she's just being nervous, and I'm not going to reward her for that. So I'm not going to go, it's okay, and love on her. I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to leave her alone. So that she's like, she knows I'm comfortable, so she'll get comfortable in a minute. And she won't be scared. No, I know it. She's got really pretty coloring. I love the black spots. Really nice black spots. Okay, Miss Munchkin, down you go. 
I know it. Are you a good boy? She's a good boy. I love the phantoms. I sure miss Anna. Um, the um, Anna was our chocolate or our black and yeah chocolate. Our black and silver snails are female, which was marked just like this, except her coloring was silver. And the phantoms are very striking. They're very pretty colored. Um, and to tell you, these two are going to have black eyes. I haven't looked at the little ones, but I think they're going to be black. And coloring on this one, he's coming really, really along with this color. I know you're scared. Whoop, hold on. I'm not going to let you fall. Let me get your feet. There you go. Now your feet's on solid ground. But he's such a pretty mark. He's such ebony black. He's just black, black. Hi, sweetie. How are you? You coming back? You decided it's okay? And I love the coat. The coat's starting to get really nice soft waves in it. And he's even got about a half inch of hair over the end of his tail. So he's coming along really, really good. You need your toenails chopped this week, but oh, maybe not. No, they've been maybe cut. They're just scratchy on the end, I guess. You got scratchy toes? Scratchy toes? Oh, I know, what? I know, I hear you. Let's see what you weigh today. All right, let me move you because I don't think they can see. Two pounds, 11.5. All right, that's a good boy. Yeah, you're getting so big. We're getting so big. Are you coming up? Let me move my leg down. Might make it a little bit easier. There, you want to come up? You can come up. There you go. All right, so last but not least is the little blue Merle. This is a phantom blue Merle. This is, everybody always asks, you're going to fall. You're not used to that much of a drop. Um, this one is a, a black and silver phantom. This probably will turn silver on the legs in time or a cream. So when I tell people it's a phantom puppy, it's basically a solid color puppy with the brown trim on the legs, under the ears, around the eye, above the eyebrows, um, and the muzzle. So this is a phantom merle, which meaning it's a solid merle body with the phantom markings. So this one is the same way, but it's just a Merle. So those are always a really popular color, but everybody always wonders, come up here, I'm gonna take you around here. There you go, there you go. He says, oh, well maybe. See, maybe, I might sit there. So this little one is like, I'm a little bit intimidated with all this. I know, sit still, you're okay. Um, lovely coat, really pretty coat. You'll see this one bloom in the next two weeks when it learns that life is great away from mom. Really nice coat, nice and thick. This one's already learned that her lap is the best place to sit. <laughs> see, I went back in your lap. It's warm and it's a nice place to sit. I know. Are you going to be the outgoing person? All right, let's see what this one weighs. All right, she is one pound 14.4. And I think we'll make three pound. Uh, we cannot do spay and neuters unless they're three pound. So sometimes on a male, they'll do a neuter at like two pounds 14 or two pounds 12. Uh, a neuter is not quite as involved as a spay, but I think she'll get there by then. She's just littler. You're just littler, aren't you? Yeah, you're just littler. I know. Are you happy up here? Did you get up on my lap? You made it, didn't you? You gotta learn to climb up though. Yeah, you gotta learn to be the one to climb up. Um, they are starting to nibble on dry dog food and we do not feed them soft food. The only thing we feed that's soft is we give them cottage cheese and they have, um, once they come up here in the house, then they'll get bully sticks and cow toes. We have to be kind of careful with mom. A lot of times you'll have a female that if you give the puppy something good to eat and she wants it, she will hurt her puppies to get what whatever I'm giving her. Um, are you hiding behind the post? Come up here. There you go. There you go. She says, wait a minute. You're back there. I'm out here. I'm coming back. Are you going to climb up? I'll let you climb this time. You just can't go off the other side. It's a big drop. She says, I'm not sure what to do. Um... So in the next kind of, uh, of an enrichment thing that we do with these guys is the bath every week changes their brain. Are you making it? Oh, listen to them little toenails. He says, yay, I made it. Yay, I made it. You going to try it too? 
Yeah, she got back up on my lap. You're not up there yet. I know it. I know it. But we, uh, it stimulates their brain. I know there goes that tail. <laughs> I saw that tail move. Yep. It's funny. I think a schnoodle's tail reflects its whole personality. Because you'll watch for the next couple weeks. These tails just go 90 mile an hour and they don't quit. Now you're really going to have a big climb. Oh, they're big thighs, Chicky. You got to climb up that hill. Your tail's going. That one's starting to go. I saw it move. I really did. Oh, I know. You're yawning. You're yawning. Um, they'll get their toenails trimmed every week while they're with us. And I know a lot of people hear me talk about trimming tails um, or trimming toenails. I don't like toenails because as these guys, when they're little, start to crawl and, and climb on each other. What? I know I hear you. Their, their nails will scratch eyes. And then they'll have an they'll get an ulcer on their eye if we don't catch it. Usually I catch an ulcer when I shoot pictures because the light flash on the reflex off their pupil shows me right where they've got a scratch. And usually some neo um, some tetracycline or not so tetracycline. Um, ter what is it? Teramycin. Teramycin. We put teramycin in their eyes and it clears it right up. But I don't like it to get to that point. So we want to get to them early when they first get a scratch and start on it. So that's why I'm so fussy about toenails when they're little. Because they're klutzy when they're little. They climb all over each other and kind of use their toenails to get up and it will scratch the other one's eyes. But you'll see each week the changes in these guys and how they come out of their shells. You got any teeth in there? Uh, I feel teeth buds, but no teeth yet. Uh yeah, and them little incisors are coming in. Yeah, right there. Oh, I feel incisors. He says, let me chew on your finger. It will help my teeth. No, no chewing. I just wanted to feel. Um, so anyway, that's about all I can throw at you today that they're doing. We're really not doing any training or doing anything with them other than just normal socialization, handling them every day to make sure that everybody's good and healthy. Um, body weight stays the same. They have... Activity levels, well, activity levels change every week. Um, like I said, Vanessa says, in the kennel with mom, they play like crazy because it's a familiar spot. This is way out of their box. So they've not been up here. They're not used to this. I know you're going to lick my fingers, aren't you? Oh, she says, don't do that. That's my mom. Are you coming? I'm helping you. There you go. Are you making it? you got to come farther than that. I'm holding your butt up. Oh, did you hear the puppies out there? We threw uh, Abby's puppies out on the patio this morning after their video, so they run that energy off because they're crazy busy. They're crazy busy. Yeah, they're crazy busy. 13. So if you have any questions about these guys while they're growing up, please feel free to give us a call. I do not mind at all. And Maggie's being a great mom with them. She's doing a wonderful job. No issues at all with her and babies. So... Have a good week. Have a happy new year and a blessed year this next year. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to call me or text me. Just don't email me. I get way too many and I'm like three days behind now. So God bless. Talk to you later. Have a great weekend.